Hello, we are talking about Pelham and Kimberwick bits. The Pelham is kind of halfway between a snaffle and a curb, a full double bridle, where you've got the action of the snaffle, if you just pull on the snaffle rein, or, and then you have the curb rein. Now sometimes you use these with a bit converter or a rounding, which is a leather strap that goes from the curb rein to the snaffle rein, and then you just use one rein attached to that. Uh, it kind of dulls the action of it. Uh, some people don't like to use them, but it can make them easier to use for uh, little kids on hard pulling ponies. So this is a Pelham. Use this with the curb chain. You want two fingers sideways in between the horse's chin groove and the chain so they can fit not flat, like against the horse's chin, but sideways. We have, this is a mullen mouth. Here we have a jointed Pelham. Now this is not allowed in games, either a jointed or a ported mouthpiece on the Pelham. Are allowed in games, you have to have just the, the straight or the mullen. And then here we have a Kimberwick. Sometimes you'll see it Kimbelwick in uh, British literature. Uh, this has a ported mouthpiece. This has just the regular um, D-shaped ring where you just put the rein around here and it has some curb pressure because of the shank that comes down here. Now, uh, it's pronounced Eukster, or there's about five different ways to pronounce this. So um, it's the shape, the ring here has these slots. It'll have an upper slot and a lower slot where you can either put the rein in the upper slot where it acts more like a snaffle, or in the lower slot where it acts more like a curb. Now, depending on where you use your hands in the Kimberwick, um, it affects the action of the bit. Um, this fixes the action, make it so that it only works like this, like a curb. Um, you cannot have this in either slot in games. You'd have to have the rein around just the ring of the bit. You couldn't have it in one of either of the slots for games. And all of these bits are allowed for D's in dressage. And thanks for listening.